Whitehall Innovation Hub has been created to address the need highlighted by the Department of Innovation, Universities and Skills, DIAS, in the Innovation Nation White Paper to increase understanding of innovation across central government. There are huge problems facing um, all levels of government and there's a huge crisis in what services should do and who should be involved in them. Uh, we just had a an example of the credit crunch which actually turns out largely I think often to be due to the fact that people haven't had a look at the whole system and how the flow of money is actually working and uh, a real need to look at actually the design if you like of uh, service delivery and also government. One of the things that we're trying to do in terms of raising awareness is actually to bring the reality of social problems closer to policy makers because they're often quite a long way down the delivery chain in actually understanding what the issues are and so getting closer to what's actually happening in communities, in services and also in local authorities and how local authorities are dealing with um, the problems of waste, social care, carbon capture, all of those issues require a sort of uh, connected approach, if you like. I think innovation in public services is now more important than ever before. I think this is mainly because the models of leadership and management in public services that we've built up over the years are now, frankly, out of date. They tend to be target-driven performance management regimes with a kind of top-down ethos. And what we need now is innovative behaviour at the local level to tackle problems in communities that are very diverse and need completely new ways of operating. Hull, under the leadership of Chief Executive Kim Riley, is striving to do this. I think local government is in a position now where it's proved that it can deliver better services to local people. The real challenge in the next phase, I think, is to be um, really bold and innovative about offering a new style of local government for the 21st century. There are lots of examples of where we've had a look at the way in which we combine services together, for example, and offer those much closer to local people. And look where we've got buildings that are well used by the public that can have multi-purpose approach. So, for example, we're, we're putting together uh, locally a whole range of people uh, who would work on uh, issues around crime and community safety, and we've been very successful in Hull at reducing our crime levels by over 40% in the past few years. I think the key is to get like-minded people together, to get some critical mass behind this. Welcome everybody. Uh, my name's Sue Maddock. I'm um, from the Whitehall Innovation Hub. I think what we need is, is a kind of vertical network, if you like, of innovators, of people able to think through new ways of doing things, who can come into leadership roles and take the whole system from top to bottom and move it on at the same time. It won't be enough just for local authorities themselves to be innovative. Central government, too, can, can either block that or they can find ways to facilitate and support it. The Hub is supporting a network of local innovators connect with central government and each other. One example is the website Patient Opinion. The idea is that, that your story about dermatology in Hull goes to just the right two or five or eight people responsible for that service. And that means there's more chance, it's by no means a certainty, but something actually happens from you as a citizen thinking, I really want that little bit of the service to be improved. So the idea is that your story goes to just those people who then hopefully will do something about it. I started off all this as just a, you know, a GP from the sticks, so it was really helpful to understand how the government worked and to be able to be put in touch with some of those um, networks. I think something about moving from a local to a national stage, it's really important. I think the philosophy has been very important, that this isn't about protecting intellectual property. It's about r talking to people, getting people to have a, understand what it takes to innovate, having some sense around, for instance, when you're running into a cash flow pr crisis, as businesses do, and having people in government who understand that and who can make those connections and ease the way as you navigate what's essentially a business, but also creating for us social capital rather than primarily financial capital is really important and it's been great. I think there's a real recognition that previous top-down strategies in command and control did not work and there's an absolute recognition of that in government now and so it's a challenge for us to actually build the connections to develop an alternative model.